All right, Ray Petlin joining us now, starting to get warmer day by day. Yeah, and uh, it's still very dry outside, too. You may have noticed the temperatures are up, but you still need the chapstick. Uh, and that's because we have some very dry conditions, which could pose some issues here as we go into the next uh, couple of days. So that's one of the things we're going to be watching. And then a system that's going to try to bring us some showers. But as it's work cut out for it, because it's so dry right now, 53 current temperature in Pittsburgh, well warmer than what we had yesterday. We just had that little additional cloud cover overhead. Temperatures up to the north in the 40s still, but most everyone in the low to mid 50s. So it's a pretty comfortable setup for this evening. And temperatures are pretty close to where you would expect to find them this time of year. The average high is 56, so we're only lagging by a few degrees. Not a bad looking shot from the top of Gateway Center towards the Fort Duquesne Bridge. We have the 53 degrees, but look at that humidity, only 26%. So any showers that try to move in here are going to just dry up, so they don't have a fighting chance with the humidity that low, and we don't have a wind chill to speak of, and probably won't here for the next couple days. Now, as for temperatures, they're going to stay pretty mild through the night. We're looking at overnight lows in the mid to upper 30s, so temperatures aren't going to fall off quite as steeply tonight. And we bounce back tomorrow into the upper 50s, so we're going to keep this mild weather sticking around. You'll notice we have some showers down to the south and some showers trying to move in from the northwest. These showers really don't have a fighting chance, one, because we're dry. Two, because the system creeping up the east coast is actually going to dry up over time. And because the situation is so dry and we're going to see our winds picking up, there is a fire weather watch that's in play until 11 o'clock tomorrow night. And when you have the very low humidity levels and the winds together, that lets fire spread quickly and very easily. So. I know a lot of people are doing yard work, picking up sticks, and I know some people do burn piles in the spring, and you're going to want to leave that alone for the next couple of days just because it is so dry outside, and the winds are going to gust around 25 miles per hour in Pittsburgh. As you get up into the ridges, those wind gusts could get over 30, and that's a recipe for quickly spreading fire. Now, Outside, we have these mainly clear skies that will come back tonight. So it's by 9, 10 o'clock, those clouds will start to really break up. Mostly clear skies tomorrow morning. Then we have a front that's coming in, but it's going to dry up moving in here. One, because it's so dry, the showers are not going to have a fighting chance. And number two, we have that system moving up the east coast. That's going to rob all the moisture from this, and we'll see plenty of sunshine through your Wednesday as a result. Thursday, different story. There's another push of moisture. It's still going to be pretty dry, so anything that does make its way to the ground is going to be pretty light on Thursday, so we're not expecting a washout here. But our best chance for rain comes Friday as a cold front comes in here, and we're going to be dealing with scattered showers on and off through a good chunk of the day. So 58 degrees in Pittsburgh tomorrow. Most of our temperatures in the upper 50s. Lots of sunshine. It will be breezy even down to the south with temperatures getting a little closer to 60, if not the mid-60s, as you get into West Virginia. Off to the east, this is where wind gusts, especially up in the ridges, could get around 30 miles per hour or so. So that's your best chance to see uh, that uh, fire weather watch in play. Now temperatures in the upper 50s as you go north of the city and again more sunshine and that sunshine will stick through the day tomorrow. Then Thursday a few showers but more clouds coming into play. Friday some showers and thunderstorms and then into the weekend partly cloudy skies and some 70s return to the forecast.